top five metaverse tokens to potentially add to your portfolio this weekend. Hey, why not? Right. Prices are a little bit depressed. And if you're looking at categories, metaverse, the metaverse category inside of crypto is going to be huge. In fact, uh, $5 trillion invested into metaverse projects kind of across the board by 2030. Great, great amount of money going to come into it. So speaking of kind of categories, let me tell you something that I'm about to start doing. Okay. So for my private members, which link in the description below, I'm about to create different portfolios. I'm going to have a metaverse portfolio where I'm going to show you the metaverse tokens that I'm going to buy and I'm going to hold. And you're going to see my, my, my private members at this $20 a month level will be able to see what I'm buying and what I'm holding when I'm selling. Now, this is not buy alerts, not trade alerts. It's just me creating different portfolios and letting my private members see what I do when I buy, what I'm holding, when I'm selling and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to have different categories. And by the way, links in the description below to this page and you can join and cancel at any time. So I'm going to have a metaverse category. I'm going to do AI crypto, uh, uh, AI cryptos. I'm going to buy, I'm going to have, I'm going to buy and hold some AI cryptos. I'm going to have blue chips. I'm going to have different kind of different portfolios and you'll be able to see all of those and follow along. I'm going to do kind of long-term trading or buy and hold. I'm also going to do some swing trading, things of that nature. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. Links in the description below. You can join and cancel at any time. Okay. So let's talk about what is going on with um, these top five metaverse. So top five metaverse tokens to add to your portfolio this, this, this weekend. These are good ones. Okay. And here they are real quickly. Obviously, ApeCoin, we know what's going on with them. Uh, Decentraland, one of the, the kind of the OGs, if you will, of, yes, I just said OG. <laughs> <laughs> of of you know of the metaverse uh, section obviously Axie Infinity we all know who they are they are the Sandbox and ICP those are kind of the top five that are out there right and if you and I'll show you how to kind of find these guys if so if you go here if you go to Coin Market Cap and you click right here metaverse you're gonna find here are basically the top ones so now what's they're ranking them here in different, they're ranking them by market capitalization. So you can see that, you know, ApeCoin is 1.9 billion, ICP is 1.5, Decentraland, and so forth and so on. Now, one they didn't mention was uh, in the article was Theta, and then there's Axie Engine and all those kind of things. Okay. So, um, you know, these are the top ones right here as far from a category standpoint. And by the way, if you didn't know that, you can come in and go, hey, here's, here's NFT, here's DeFi, things of that nature. These are different categories inside of, of crypto. And if you want to see all of the categories, here they are as well. If you want to get into, you know, music crypto, there, there you go. Okay. Shows you kind of the, the capitalization by that. Okay. So again, the top five ones are ApeCoin, Decentraland, Axie, Sandbox, and ICP. So there you go. Maybe look at picking them up, run it through your own due diligence. And you know, here's the thing. There's really... <sighs> If you're looking at kind of how do you invest in in crypto and again this is not investing advice you know what does it i tell you number one be diversified number two uh you know maybe own like if you think of blue chips like think of the you know owning the top blue chips bitcoin ethereum uh, cardano you know polka dot uh you know uh, matic things of that nature right all right because and that's that could be one kind of category and let's say you had a thousand dollars you want to put it in those there you go that's that's kind of one category now you're in blue chips and then you could kind of look at, okay, I want to be in the metaverse. Then buy, do the kind of similar thing. Say, okay, I'm going to go buy the top four or five uh, of, you know, of the metaverse, right? I'm going to go just kind of, okay, I'm going to go over here and we'll look at this and go, okay, here's, here's the metaverse ones right here. Okay, I'm going to buy a little bit of Ape. I'm going to buy a little bit of ICP, Decentraland, and Sandbox as an example, kind of buy and hold, right? If you want to do it for AI, you can do that same thing from a category standpoint. It's not a bad idea to kind of, again, spread your money around these. And, and so while you're do, when you're doing that, you're diversifying and you're minimizing risk. That's the biggest thing I could tell you. You're minimizing risk, okay? So basically think of it this way. If you had $5,000 and you put all of it in Bitcoin, that's it. You're in Bitcoin. But if you had $5,000 and you said, okay, I'm going to put $1,000 in blue chips. I'm going to put $1,000 in metaverse. I'm going to put $1,000 in AI. I'm going to put $1,000 in NFT, things that are in our DeFi or whatever it may be. And, and, and buy the top four or five of those. Now you have a very simple diversified plan for, for investing. Oh, by the way, don't have all your money in crypto. Buy some stocks, Apple, Amazon, things of the nature. Again, not investing advice, just, you know, gray hair, been around the block a few times. So what I got for you, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below, drop a like, tell the algorithm that we are here. That's all I got for you. I'll see you.